Hi everyone and welcome to Upload VP. My name is Andrew Watts and in this WordPress tutorial we're gonna learn about this. Hi everyone and welcome to this uh, WooCommerce tutorial part 10. In this uh, tutorial we will learn how you can set up uh, payment with uh, PayPal. So to do this go to your dashboard, go down to WooCommerce, click on settings, go to checkout and choose PayPal. Okay, so first we're gonna enable PayPal standard. Then you can choose a title, so I will choose PayPal. And this is a description for the payment. You will also have to add your PayPal account email. Like that. If you want to test the payments before you go live, you can check enable PayPal sandbox. You can also enable logging on PayPal events, PayPal payments. Okay, so then we have advanced options. Add your email. Okay, so then we want to have a PayPal identity token. So to get this, you go to Profile, Profile Settings, My Selling Tools, Website Preferences. Okay, then we go to our PayPal. Go to your PayPal Settings. Choose My Selling Tools. Find Website Preferences. Click on Update. So then we want to have this auto return on. You want to add a return URL, your website URL. Go to payment data transfer. Choose on. And under here you find identity token. Just copy the identity token. And go down. You can choose if you want to have this on or off. I will choose off. And PayPal account optional. You can choose on and off. I will choose on. And if you want to have contact telephone number. So I will choose off. PayPal recommends these options. Express checkout settings. I will choose no. Then click on save. Okay, so then we go back to the website and paste the identity token. Then we go to invoice prefix. So this one, if you have uh, multiple uh, WooCommerce shops, so you will add a unique invoice prefix. PayPal will not uh, allow the same invoice from two different web shops. And we can go down, you can check this if you want, send the shipping details to PayPal instead of billing, enable address override, payment actions if you want to capture the payment or just authorize it. And page style if you want to add a page style, API credentials if you want to process refunds through PayPal. You have to enter username, password and signature. And if you want to do this, you can go to this link. Just follow the steps. And go back and fill in the username, password and the signature. Then click on save changes. Okay, so this is how you set up your PayPal standard payments. This is the last thing. This is the last thing in this WooCommerce tutorial. Now we can go to 
dashboard. And if you haven't done this already, you can enable your site. So just click on here. Okay, congratulations, your site is now live. Click here to view it. Okay, so the site is live. I hope you enjoyed this uh, WooCommerce tutorial. I hope you successfully build your own e-commerce store. For more of my tutorials, please uh, subscribe and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Okay, everyone, I hope this helped. Please uh, subscribe, leave a comment, make a thumbs up. You can also go to our premium support forum at uploadvp.com and uh, we will see you in the next tutorial. So have a great day and uh, goodbye.